everyone welcome to this video in this video we will be studying about internal direct groups so for first of all let us see what are these groups right so here you can recall about external direct products right remember we have studied about direct products and we call them to be external right so similarly we will now be calling them to be internal correct now what is the difference between these two we will be seeing this thing correct so here uh, if you remember about this external direct product we have different groups with us g1 g2 g3 and so on up to gn when we uh, write it in this form by this sign in between them so basically we are producing a new group say capital g such that its elements are of this form having um, n tuple right each gi has been taken from capital gi group right first one from first group second one from second group and so on and the operation here uh, new operation is defined here uh, such that what we do we do component wise uh, operation we perform component wise multiplication here in this case this was the external direct product so uh, we learnt in the external direct product what we have learnt we have learnt about a method of putting together uh, so many groups to create a larger group right so many so that many properties of the larger group is determined from the properties of the component group so that means you have some group g1 g2 g3 and so on up to gn right so then what you do you club all of them and you create some new group which you call by capital G now you do not know what properties would this group would carry but you know about each of the individual groups G1, G2, G3 and so on up to Gn so using the properties of G1, G2, G3 and so on you can now determine the properties of G right for example if your group is created from two groups H and K right using the external direct product then the property first it uh, give you the order of the group it would be the multiplication of order of the first group h and with order of the second group which is k right in the second property you have every element of g uh, you know what is the form of each element within this bigger group it is of this uh, n tuple right because now we are taking two groups here so we will have we having two tuple right so here only two coordinates would be include for the third property you know if the order of the element h and k they are finite in nature then what would be the order of the element of this bigger group g it would be the lcm of the order of the first element and the order of the second element right for the fourth property here tell you that if you have considered the two groups as abelian groups then the newly constructed group which is the external direct product of these two groups is also abelian right this is the fourth property then in the fifth property we have if both the groups h and k they are cyclic in nature and moreover if they the their orders they are relatively prime to each other then this bigger group g is also cyclic in nature so you see by knowing the properties of individual groups you can very easily determine the properties of the bigger group right so can we think of the reverse process here so basically if you have some bigger group g with you then can you divide it into different subgroups of this kind right can you break it down into different groups the answer is uh, let me pose to you the question again can we think of starting with a large group g and break it down into a product of subgroups in such a way that we could obtain many properties of the individual groups right so now you know the properties of this bigger group can you tell anything about the properties of these individual groups the answer is yes sometimes we can do that so what is that condition which restricts us to do it at all the time so the let's see the condition so uh, for the condition we have a new term coined which is the internal direct product right in internal direct product what we do we take some bigger group g right and from this bigger group we construct another uh, two groups right we construct the inner direct product such that when you take two subgroups of it h and k and you write the bigger group g as 
the product of these two subgroups h and k such that they should be normal subgroups of g this is first condition and the second condition is that their intersection should contain only the one point which is the identity element of both the element and it is also the identity element of g correct so these two conditions should be there your subgroups should be normal subgroups another thing they should not contain anything in common except the identity element so this is the definition so how can we form the internal direct product so we can start with some group g and we can find two subgroup of it h and k such that they are normal subgroups and using those subgroups if you calculate the inner product then uh, direct product right uh so it would be the external direct product of h and k so this external product should be isomorphic to your group itself if you are able to do that then your g which is defined like h cross k would be the internal direct product correct so you can see for internal direct product we start with some group g we find two subgroups h and k of it such that they are normal in g right and moreover you can uh, then express g as i being isomorphic to the external direct product of h and k and in the external direct product what you do you start with two subgroups h and k which are either related to each other or not related to each other that depends uh, that does not matter in this case so this produce some large group h uh, direct product with k now you see we have the same term here and we have the same term here as well now some of you might confuse what is the difference then between internal and external direct product so this is what what basically is our next question what is the difference between the inner uh, and the external direct products correct so here you can see in internal direct product we can form this within the group given group g right using the subgroups of g which are normal to it and using the same operation of g here you should note that they contain one element common to it and both of them k as well as h they should be present within g they should be the subgroups of g right and for the external direct product the larger group g is created with, with totally unrelated groups you can take any groups together and you can create a new set and you can even define a new operation onto it so that means you have some h and some k you can join them together and create a new set call it g and you can define a new operation for it as well then it would be your external direct product right so this is the difference between two so i hope you understood about uh, this uh, internal direct product right in the next video we'll be looking at an example of it